Hey everyone, if you think and inspect that you might have a bad head gasket on your Jeep Wrangler, I'm going to show you a test that you can perform and do it yourself at the comfort in your driveway by using a combustion leak detector from Arbor Freight. It's real easy, straightforward, and I'm going to show you. So stay tuned. And here you go. Combustion leak detector. Flip it over. Open the box. Comes with the tools provided. Now, the actual test fluid sold separately, but you can also get this at Harbor Freight. So give me a second. I'm going to show you how to fill this up, and then we're going to go to the Jeep, and I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, when you pull this out of the box, when you noticed here, there's a little black line right here. Okay, we're going to take this test fluid, which is blue in color, and we're going to just add it to the black line just a little bit. Leave the cap on here, and then you're going to use this as a little pumper. And the purpose of this, if we have combustion gases leaking into the coolant, this will turn yellow. So stay tuned. I'm going to go up to the Jeep. I'm going to turn her on, get her the operation, operating temperature, and then we're going to perform it. So give me a second. So when you get to this point, you want to take a turkey baser, get it down to the top of the radiator, and that's where we're going to perform this test. Get some of the fluid out of it. Because you're going to have to take this and stick it down in the head. So let me get set up real quick. I'm going to get, I got a turkey baster. I'm going to take some of the fluid out of here. Wait until she gets the operating temperature, and then I'm going to show you. So give me a second. Okay, I got some of the fluid out. Right on the top, you want to get this into the top. You don't have to jam it in the hole or anything. And you take your little squeegee and you stick it in the top. If you can see where the bubbles, I already done the test. I already know there's no problems, but I just wanted to show you. Um, and then I'm going to go into the back of the Jeep showing the actual exhaust. And you can see how it works. So if you were doing this and you want to do it for about a good minute, and this turns yellow, then you have a problem. So give me a second, we'll go to the back of the Jeep. So here, I'm going to show you. We're going to go in the exhaust port and watch. And just like that. And this is going from the muff apart, and it turns yellow. So, with that said, give me a second. So if you're expecting that you might have a bad head gasket and gases are escaping through the coolant and you're losing coolant somewhere but you're not showing signs of it, there's a good chance that happens. The demonstration I just showed you at the radiator, um, use a turkey baster, get some of the fluid out of there, get it on there good, don't have to jam it in there, give it a good minute. Like I said, I already did the test. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. I don't have these problems. Um, and then I go into the back of the exhaust and you see it, seeing it turn yellow just like that. Then you have a bad head gasket and then you got a lot of problems. The best step for that is to actually take it back to the dealership if it's under warranty or take it to a good mechanic in your area. Um, you might find some mechanics if you belong to a Jeep club. Um, that means you got to tear down everything to get to those gaskets. Um, hopefully you don't have that problem, but if you do, you know what to do. Again, you can perform this test yourself. I got this from Harbor Freight. Um, with the test fluid, you could take it to the dealership. You could take it to a mechanic. They're going to charge you some money for it. Um, you might be able to go on Amazon and get it. I know you could probably go on Amazon and get it. You can get everything on there. Just don't stay away from Timu. Oh, boy. But anyways, I hope that helps. And it helps someone else. So everyone have a good day.